I want to now bring in CDV's Rachel Oello for more. Rachel, good afternoon. It's good to see you. So tell us about what do we know? Where do negotiations stand at the moment? Well, we're getting two different stories on this, Akshay. So in a memo sent to striking members last night, PSAC, the union ahead, heading this strike, said that discussions are at a halt, talks have ground to a halt. They are saying the federal government is trying to wait you out. Now, we heard from Mona Fortier, the Treasury Board president this morning, and she said that the federal government remains at the table, but the union keeps coming with unreasonable and unaffordable offers. She said the federal government is holding on to that 9% wage in Increase. The union had indicated, Akshay, that they've come off their 13.5% demand, but we don't know exactly where in between those two figures talks currently stand. Okay, that's interesting. They have come off that 13.5% over the next three years demand. But what do we know in terms of other issues here, Rachel, in terms of, you know, there are growing calls, for example, to push back the tax filing deadline, but it doesn't appear that the CRA is willing to do so, despite the fact thousands of their employees are also a part of the strike. Yeah, so the tax deadline holds. Canadians still have to file their taxes on time. There has been no leniency offered, even though uh, CRA members are on strike, meaning that if anyone has an issue, they're trying to call the CRA to get help kind of filing their taxes, they may be met with long wait times to get assistance. And the Prime Minister was speaking today, and he noted as well that as this goes on, we're now on day eight of this strike, Canadians are going to be noticing the compounding impacts of service delays. So whether that's immigration or passport applications, things like your tax filing. Uh, he knows that Canadians are increasingly frustrated and he said today that the union has to, you know, take that into account and kind of proceed cautiously. Now we're going to be hearing from the union in about 20 minutes or so. They're going to be speaking on Parliament Hill where they've kind of tried to rally their striking members today, trying to have a, a larger force of people out on the picket line there, uh, seemingly trying to continue to put that pressure on the federal government to meet them in the middle, come to a place where they can both agree. The federal government says the offer we've put on the table is fair and reasonable both to public servants and Canadian taxpayers. All right, we leave it at that. Of course, keeping a close eye on what the union has to say later this afternoon. Rachel Oello, thank you for your time, Rachel. Thank you.